Hey, what's up, chicas? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super, super, super well today. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be working with a pink fall design. And you guys already saw the products we're going to be using in today's video. Um, we're going to be using pink flannel, as you guys can see here. We're, gonna, we're also going to be using our 3XL square tips. Um, our number 16 Kalinsky brush, which is out of stock, but it'll see it'll soon be back in stock. Um, we're also going to be using it's going to be a new nude, you guys. It's one of the glow in the dark nudes that we're going to be having available. And what else, you guys? I also used one of our glitters from our Autumn Gems collection, and that is the like the burgundy one and then we're gonna be using a little bit of orange i wanted a little bit of orange in the pink yes i know it's like a weird combination but it really looks really pretty i promise it looks beautiful if you guys haven't tried orange with pink i mean i've tried it with like my summer designs and it looks beautiful but i've i don't think i've ever tried it with my fall designs so then I'm like, you know what? Let's add a little touch of orange and let's see how it looks. I'm like, you know what? If I don't like it, I'll just remove it and start all over again. But then I was feeling it. I was really, really feeling it. And it ended up looking super beautiful. So, yes, chicas, we're going to go ahead and do this beautiful pink design as I was mentioning but um let me just kind of talk to you guys what's about to happen this week so i already received everything today i just i'm so tired you guys i've been it's been a super long weekend i've been up and down all freaking weekend long and then and on top of that gracias a dios thank god we had a whole bunch of orders um from um a lot of people have been ordering last year's collections so i had to package that today and we received our like the whole fall collection for this year today i still need to go and swatch and see what's gonna like what's you know what's gonna make it to the website and what's not what i like and what i don't like you know what i mean um i need to go see that but um for sure probably uh today the pier boxes might ship if not tomorrow which is wednesday uh so yeah i mean yeah everything's gonna ship out on tuesday or wednesday i need to get everything settled and then that way we're able to do a launch day which will i'm thinking about either saturday or sunday so that i'm able to get everything nice and situated you know what i mean i don't want to be missing on nothing and just make sure that we have everything and that way the pr boxes have time to arrive and you know my brand ambassadors are able to show the new products before launch day you know what i mean so what do you guys think is a saturday or sunday a good launch day or do you guys prefer like during the week uh let me know please let me know in this video what do you guys think because honestly i'm really debating whether i should do it saturday or sunday or just wait until next week until like monday or tuesday you know what i mean I don't think it's I'm gonna make it till Monday or Tuesday of next week, you guys. I'm really, really, really thinking of Saturday. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, it's been super hectic. I'm so tired. I've told you guys in the past, in past videos, um, we're building a home. We're building a new home and my husband's like literally the one building it um and i've been helping him over the weekend and i'm like i truly understand your pain now i understand what you go through and it is so hard you guys and i've been only sanding because he's already doing like the taping and the texture and all that and i'm doing the sanding because gabby decided she wanted smooth walls i don't want texture on the walls <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I'm like literally regretting it right now. And oh my god, you guys, it is so freaking hectic. <sighs> but yeah, if if you know what I mean, let me know. Cause girl, I'm really tired. My body's about to give up. <laughs> And then yesterday, uh, which is Sunday, I had to go uh, freaking grocery shopping. I had nothing on the fridge. I had to go groceries. And that's literally, I hate going grocery shopping, you guys. I really don't like it. I, If it's something I hate, it's that. But I have to go. Like, I have to go. Because, I mean, come on. Who's going to cook? Where am I going to get all the groceries to make dinner for the kids and the husband and stuff? You know what I mean? So, yeah. I had to go. And then, yeah. Like, it's been a hectic weekend. But, yeah. Anyway, you guys. Going back to the design. Um, everything is not in real time, you guys. But, okay. So, when I'm editing my videos, it gives me, like... It could go in real time or 1.5 or or times 2, which is literally sped up. This video right here is not sped up whatsoever. It is actually in 1.5. So I just feel like it's the perfect speed for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm working with the acrylic and how I pick up the beads. Just pretty much overall everything on the video. And um, yeah. So on the middle nail, I went ahead and did, I was going to go ahead and add pink flannel at the tip of the nail. But then again, I remembered, I was like, okay, I want a, a, like a little touch of orange on the nail. And I feel like I need to add a touch of orange on the nails. How am I going to do this? <laughs> so um, I'm like, you know what, let's just, let's just do a little marble. I went ahead and did a little marble there. I also did it on the index nail. And then I went ahead and did a little peekaboo situation on the, of course, on the cuticle area. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and marble everything. Once I'm done with that, I just go ahead and start to ombre my nude like i said this nude you guys is gonna be one of the nudes that's coming very like, literally this not very soon but this weekend hopefully and it's such a beautiful nude you guys it is a when it glows in the dark it's kind of like a teal glow in the dark the one that i'm wearing on my right hand it's more like a blue glow in the dark this one is a teal glow in the dark it's so beautiful and as you guys can see, it's like a pinky nude. And oh, I just love it. I really do. It's it's such an amazing nude, you guys. Um, so yeah, I still need to also name them. I need to name these three nudes. I think I got one down. But you guys gave me so many beautiful ideas for the glow, the three glow nudes. That I'm going to go ahead and name them from those ideas that you guys gave me um so yeah anyway you guys so pretty much the video is self-explained you guys i'm just gonna leave you guys to it i don't want to bore you with so many shalala shalala <laughs> um and again i'm very tired you guys and i right now like as soon as i'm done i have to go cook dinner and then yeah so I'm, I'm just very tired but anyway you guys i'll leave you guys to it and then i'll be back in a little bit to explain the rest of the design
Okay, so on the pinky, you guys, um, we're going to go ahead and do a quilted type of a nail. And right here, you have to work pretty fast. Um, don't let your acrylic dry up on you because if you do, then you're not going to be able to do the quilted design. Um, as you guys can see me here, I'm trying to work as fast as I can and trying to perfect it as best as I can because, again, it is a quilted nail and it'll dry up on you and you won't be able to do the whole design and on top of that um you do not file i only file the sidewalls when i'm working with the quilted type of design so i'm trying to perfect it as best as i can and making it really really cute um so it doesn't look all wonky or nothing like that and i'm able to do the quilted design <laughs> as fast as i can so that's basically what i'm doing you guys um and yeah gabby decided she wants an ombre so i have to work even faster now so yeah you guys just kind of watch here what i'm doing um another little trick that i can give you when you're working with quilted nails is i you when when you like when you're using the little knife because that's what i do i that's what i use um instead of dipping your knife in the crystal clear acrylic which is what i used to do and it would get all like sticky don't do that you guys um dip it onto the monomer and it's gonna glide on the nail it's gonna slide on there without making any like like sticky nothing you know what i mean it's not gonna stick to nothing so that's another little trick that I can give you guys when you're working with quilted nails.
and as you guys know i went ahead and capped off camera and then i also went ahead and shaped and filed off camera and this is what the nails look like after of course being capped and filed and shaped it's just such an amazing view you guys i love to see this Ugh, just I don't know it's just chef's kiss to me <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the design and everything so now we're gonna go ahead and use our white gel polish which is available on my website and we're also going to be using our brand new gel liners these will also be releasing on saturday or sunday of course i'll keep you guys posted everywhere as to when everything is going to release you know what i mean i just need to do some like last um little like touches to the to the whole fall collections and stuff swatch them and you know yeah i just need to do some little last little things in order for me to get everything situated and then i'll give you a launch date um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and do like a little plaid design on the ring finger and we're gonna go ahead and do like i don't know you guys i just saw this on on a design on pinterest um and i decided to create it on this nail now you basically just kind of draw two little like corners you fill them in in white or whatever color you want to fill them in with and then it's gonna look like that plaid design and then i'm gonna go ahead and do of course more little lines here and there we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glitter um well not glitter but we're gonna we're also gonna be using the i even forgot you guys the gel pots that we released last christmas i don't remember the names of them i'm so sorry i i'm so tired you guys i'm so sorry but i didn't want to skip today's upload because i really don't want to skip on you guys with videos um i've been doing so good that i just that's not me you guys i hate skipping videos i really do and i hate only uploading once a week ever since i started my channel i've either i would upload every single day or at least two three times a week i would upload and then all of a sudden i stopped remember i mentioned that i was only gonna be uploading one i was like nope i cannot do that i can't you guys i can't it's i it's something i love and i'm not gonna be able to just upload one so yeah i don't want to be skipping around you guys with uploads so yeah anyway so we went ahead and did a little pink line on the white area and then i'm gonna go ahead and matte everything out because this nail is gonna be matte and i kind of messed up you guys i should have done where i was gonna be doing the little sweater effect i should have done that drawn that little line and then added the top coat but yeah i'm always messing up in these type of designs which is it's okay it's okay everything's fi fixable um this is a glitter that i'm mentioning to you guys do you guys remember what they were called because i don't uh i don't you guys i really don't i'm sorry but they're not available on the website anymore it was just like a christmas thing and then um we're gonna be drawing two little lines um on the opposite side of the nail as you guys can see here and i really don't i cannot remember which liner brushes i used um, I know I did use the size 11, 15 mm. What? <laughs> what am I talking about? I used the 11 mm. I also used the. I think I used all of them actually because I think I used the smaller one for the. Yeah, I did for the sweater effect. So yeah, I pretty much used all of my new liner brushes for this design. So this is what I mean, you guys. Um, this is where I'm gonna be drawing the sweater effect and i was supposed to mat it and i didn't but i i'm gonna go ahead and do it right after okay you guys so my brush is looking a little wonky yes i kind of messed up on it and it hurt me to my core but don't do what i did you guys i stored my brush upside down instead of like upright you know what i mean um and it kind of bent the bristles as you guys can see here i'm gonna have to like i guess kind of wet it or add maybe top coat or something so that it's a little wet and then place something heavy on top of it so that it's straight again so yeah you guys anyway 
now we're just gonna go ahead and do the whole sweater effect and that's basically it Okay, so now here on my index nail, we're going to go ahead and add a little crystal and then we're going to go ahead and surround that as if it were a Frenchie with more crystals around all the way kind of towards the sidewalls. And then we're also going to be doing 3D. Now, I did a whole bunch of 3D on my, on my middle nail. I went ahead and did roses. I went ahead and did like like a little bit of different flowers on that nail and looks really really pretty i know i've been doing a lot of roses lately but for some reason i love roses around fall and around valentine's of course valentine's but i don't know why i do a lot of roses doing during fall i really don't know what it is but um yeah i went ahead and did that um so like i said since i've been doing a whole bunch of roses i'm like you know what i need to do like add something different on them and i did like i said it's just like a mixture of different uh types of flowers on that nail so i'm gonna leave you guys pretty much to watch that it's basically a whole bunch of 3d so if you guys are interested in 3d go ahead and watch and yeah i'll be back in a little bit
Now here on the quilted nail, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of caviar beads, like um, where those two little lines meet, like where it crosses. You guys can see here what I'm doing. <laughs> That's where we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of caviar beads in gold. Um, I do have caviar beads in rose gold and also in silver, but for some reason I always tend to go with gold. I'm a gold girly, I don't know you guys, and rose gold. I think it's first place, <laughs> it's um, gold and then it's rose gold and then lastly it is silver. I don't know what it is, but anyway you guys, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm um, using my top coat. We're gonna go ahead and add more caviar beads where we did the little um, 3D. Uh, it, it, I don't know, it just gives it a whole different vibe to me. I don't know, if you don't have to add this if you don't like it, just kind of leave it as it is. Um, but I did. After that, of course, we're gonna go ahead and top coat everything with our big boy shiny top coat. And this is what the nails look like this is what the nails look like when they come out of the lamp and in the dark you guys it's not that dark here because of my neon sign but you're able to see how freaking beautiful they are how beautiful they glow look at that you guys I, I can't wait I cannot wait for you guys to have them with you because they're so beautiful and yes you guys this is the end result let me know your thoughts let me know if do you guys like it would you wear them? Would you maybe wear them a little um, shorter? I don't know, you guys. Let me know your thoughts. I'll be reading you guys in the comments. And I've been so good lately because I've been replying to every single comment in my last videos. I'm so proud of myself because, I mean, come on, you guys. Without you, we wouldn't be here. Without you, none of this is possible. You guys are the ones that makes us you know what i mean and because of you guys i'm here so thank you so much to my true supporters only to my true supporters okay not the ones that kind of play around or nothing like that so you, you you get it you get it um if you know you know so yeah baby girls i'll see you guys on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye